welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm Mickey Carico, and today I'm filming and trying on all of the five new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that she released last week. I didn't pick up all of the liners because I have a lot of her liners already, but I did pick up Sorcery to the Corresponding Color. And if this is something you want to watch, um, I'll be doing a review and um, description of the colors. And then at the end of the demos, I will be posting up pictures and swatches of the colors, also compared with other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. If you, so if you're interested in that content, please keep watching and consider subscribing to my channel, Mickey Car Beauty. It would help me out and I would appreciate it so much. I have to say that all five are just beautiful colors. I'm so excited that I got these in the mail. Um, you can probably guess which color that I'm having on my lips already. It's the one I finished with. And I'll go into a try on and review of all of the five of the lipsticks. And at the very end, you'll see uh, some swatches of the products along with some comparison swatches with some uh, Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that might be close in color or possible dupes. So let's begin. I have not received the five new eyeshadow palettes from Lisa Eldridge yet. They are on route and I'll probably get them in about uh, a day or two, but I wanted to go ahead and film at least the lipsticks because I figured uh, to post these right away. But moreover, I think it's probably better to split up the lipsticks from the eyeshadows because I ended up getting all five of the new lipsticks and all five of the new eyeshadows. So that will be a very long video if I put all of it together. So I'll make sure to link them when I'm complete with both of those videos. So I have a pretty extensive Lisa Eldridge lipstick collection and I'm not ashamed about it. Lisa Eldridge is like, is my favorite lipstick. I think what it is is that she, bar none, has the best color curation undertones, really thinks out the color stories and curation and the name, super attention to detail. And I find that it's very hard for me to find matte formulas that actually cover up my natural pigmentation. So I have a full face of makeup except for lipstick on today and I don't have any lip balm on my lips. So I just want to show you what my lips actually look like. So you can see naturally just because of um, my heritage that I have actually a darker um, outline on my lips and then it gets a little bit whiter and then um, it almost looks pink on there. So I almost have like three to four different colors on my lips. And that can be really challenging when I'm trying to find lipstick, whether it's matte, sheer, or any formula that actually not just covers the pigmentation, but actually shows up in the true form of something that the person envisioned. So I find that the two lipstick companies that actually uh, work for me in covering up the pigmentation and actually show the true to form lipstick color that they intended is both Lisa Eldridge and Suku. I have... A lot of Lisa Eldridge and mixed in with here just overflowed and I love them. I love all my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and I'm basically a fanatic. I I know that already. Of, of I am such a huge Lisa Eldridge fan. Do I love all her products? No, I think there's some improvement but in terms of her lipsticks I just love the formula. I love moreover the color curation and I've tried different matte formulas that just don't work for me. A lot of it is that a lot of matte companies like Byredo and Givenchy, they have beautiful uh, matte lipsticks as well, but they put perfume in it. And it, to me, that's a deal breaker. I'm very sensitive to perfume. Um, and usually if it's a perfume I don't like, I just, it's like right there. So that's something to know about me. And what I'll do is also link all of my Lisa Eldridge playlists below. So, or up here or then below, just make sure to check those out. I've pretty much tried to do videos on all Lisa Eldridge's releases. What I have on my face, and I've done reviews of this on my face already, I have the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation this beautiful foundation and I wear the color 17 and I have that on my skin today and it's really a beautiful foundation. It's just uh, kind of like, it's got a luminosity to it and it sets down by itself. And I just love that. It's really hard for me to find kind of spot on matches because of my tan skin and all, olive undertone. Under that, right around here and here, I'm actually using the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin, the highlighter. It's like the glow, elevated glow highlighter. 
And I'm wearing that in the color Solar Light. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll just swatch this for you so you can see what that looks like on me. It's just kind of got this beautiful apricot -y natural highlight going on. And then for my blush today, I actually have two blushes, the Her Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enlivening Blush. And then this is my probably my favorite color of hers. This is the Dante's Dream. I have that back here. And then I decanted some of the blushes because uh, there was a packaging issue, which some of you know about. And this is Mountain Walk. It's that purpley pink one. And I just have that in the front. So uh, this is the type of foundation that can be built up or tamped down. I actually had a lot more, but because I wanted to highlight the lipstick, I didn't really go super bold. And some of you have seen my video on her liquid lyrics is, and I'll put them above and below. And she had two different releases of these. She had the original uh, releases of kind of like these warm coat, warm tone colors, and then these ones here. And then she released more this past year. I don't have all the liquid lyrics is. Um, that's fine because these do have a shelf life, I think of about 18 months. I want to say these are the ones I have. I have videos on all of these and on my eyes today I am wearing three of the Lisa Eldridge products. For my mobile lid right this part here I'm using the color Angelica and that's probably my favorite everyday go-to color and on the inner corner here I'm using the color Bianca. Love both of these colors. These just beautiful cool tones. And then on the outer V, just to deepen up the look, I'm using the color Zora. And so yes, using all three of these shades today, actually in that order, inner corner, mobile, and then smoky eye. I did put some bronzer up here just to kind of help with create the crease shade as well. I did not end up getting corresponding lip liners for each of the new ones. I have a lot of Lisa Eldridge lip liners already and I keep them in here. And I just try to pick the one that's closest in shade to the lipstick that I'm using. I'm not a huge lip liner person. Some people need it, but the thing is for, at least for me, depending on the shade, most of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, I don't need a liner because they're so pigmented. There might be one or two in the uh, luxuriously lucent um, formula, the, the one that's not a matte formula where I have to use lip liner. I did end up getting the Sorcery Enhance and Define lip color, which is this one, because I wanted something that was a little bit more brown in my Lisa Eldridge collection. So some of you know during this launch, it, with this order, if you had three products at least minimum, she included this beautiful velvet pink cosmetics bag. I think she was calling up pochette, pochette. I'm not sure, but I ended up getting one for each of the three products I bought. So since I bought five lipsticks, one lip liner and five of, of the palettes, I'm anticipating getting four of these. I will keep one, likely gift the two others for the Christmas presents and then put one in a future giveaway. So, and once these are gone, they're gone. I ended up getting the limited edition one, which she worked with a designer and I love that cosmetics bag. I don't use it too often because I don't want it to wear down because it, it is velvet, but this color is just gorgeous and it's not velour, it's velvet. And I actually have a hot pink jacket, a work jacket with the same color. So when I saw that she was including this with the purchase of three, uh, I was like, I'm going to get like them because they once they're gone they're gone so when the product arrived most of the lip lipsticks were carefully packed packed in here i live in the pacific northwest and it's always a challenge for me to get products fast i notice i'm seeing other people getting their eyeshadows some of them got them on monday i'm filming now on thursday and i see that the u.s distribution center is in ohio so depending on where you live if you paid for expedited shipping, which I did not. My products are always going to get here a little bit later just because I'm in tucked in the Northwest corner of the United States. So I'm gonna show you these. This is Velvet Pompadour. I love this. This is probably the closest to the actual color of this little pink velvet pouch. Such a pretty color, Velvet Pompadour. This is Velvet Rain. This is Velvet Enchantment. So beautiful. And just so you know, I film in natural light. I do have some studio lighting just to buffer things, but I'm in front of a large window. This is Velvet Sorcery. This is Velvet Duchess. If you're not familiar with Lisa Eldridge, check out my other videos. These do not have any smell, which I love.
velvet pompadour. This is a beautiful pinky, pinky pop of color. So Velvet Pompadour, my take on the hue popularized by Madame de Pompadour, a fresh, lively, medium pink with neutral undertones, gives a flush of Rococo romance to the lips and cheeks, truly worthy of the gossipy corridors of the Palace of Versailles. Such a pretty color. I think for this one, I would definitely grab a liner. And it's just because I think some of that pigmentation underneath my lips is coming through. So I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing blush, which I'm so sorry, this is gets dirty. That is something about these lip liners that they don't necessarily stay super clean. And it has to do with a cap. And I try to, um, yeah, so just so that these get a little bit dirty um, with use. Okay, that helped a little bit. The thing to know about her lip liners is that with the corresponding colors, it's not an exact match. A smidgen a lot deeper than the actual corresponding color, but that's because it's a liner. So this is with a blush liner uh, for Velvet Pompadour. It's such a beautiful color. In addition to being matte, this might be the kind of a lipstick that might be look good blurred out. So I'm just going to try to do that, okay? And I like to do this a lot with my lipsticks that even if I lay it down, I like to use my finger to just blur it out a little bit. Sometimes I just don't like it when it looks that precise. Also, my fingers are warmer, so it also just kind of softens up the look. And you see it's, it's a very subtle difference, but it doesn't look so harsh with the line. It kind of blurs the edges. That was so pigmented. I don't know if you saw how much came off, but there's something about blurring and then the heat of one's finger. If they're just kind of like dabbing, it just kind of gives us like the soft focus blur effect that I think is so pretty. And I think I would, that's the way I would use this color. I don't think I liked it caked on. So I just prefer it more like blur, a soft blur. Oh, so pretty. I'm just so excited about this whole release. Okay, so that was Velvet Pompadour. Let me know. And at the end, please tell me which is the favorite that you like on me. Next color I'm trying on is Velvet Rain. And just so you know, if you're new to Lisa Eldridge, it comes with this really kind of really beautiful gold casing. It's definitely metal. This is what I think of, of high-end luxury. It's magnetic. It's beautiful. I love the like the ASMR moment here. Uh, the downside of them being magnetized is that you can't Put them all together they'll repel each other so I, that's why i have to put it in a lipstick holder because there's a magnet in here as well so yep and then there's her insignia velvet rain and this is described as a rain soaked rose this muted natural medium pink has a blend of warm and cool undertones at its heart pick up the natural tones of the lips whilst enlivening the face as christina rossetti penned of the rose she sets the world on fire so that's Velvet Rain. Okay, so that is Velvet Rain. It's also a pink, but not as bright as the last one. It's just as pretty. It's just more of a muted pink with some rose in it. This one seemed almost creamier than the Velvet Pompadour. I'm not sure why. I just noticed it was like a more of a tug with the Velvet Pompadour. Yeah, and even when I'm like rubbing my lips together, I can feel that it's actually a little bit more emollient. And then maybe there's just something a little different about this formula. I actually prefer this kind of pink more. The other one is a little bit too bright for me, but I could wear both. I just like that there's a little bit more neutrality to this color than the other one because sometimes I would definitely have to be more in a bold mood for that versus I think I could feel a little bit more comfortable with this color like smacking it on a lot heavily. I don't feel the need to um, smudge this out as much as the other one but we're gonna go ahead and do that.
And for this one, I didn't feel the need to use a liner. And again, maybe that had to do has to do with the formula of Velvet Rain, that it just feels more emollient and it covered more of my undertone. This color, Velvet Rain, flatters my skin tone more just because I have a more of a neutral olive undertone. Let me know what you think. This is hard. I'm usually, I usually try to play a game too with myself of like out of her new releases, which is my favorite lipstick out of the release. Okay, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to take this off even though I don't want to um, and then we'll try on the remaining three. So the next lipstick is Velvet Enchantment. Velvet Enchantment, the beguiling and wild muted red matter rose is a classic fairy tale in a lip color, like a rush of blood to the lips, this instantly beautifying hue with its mix of cool and warm undertones is the most effortlessly wearable of all my reds. So, okay, so it's gonna be a red, but a wearable red, because I know some people are really intimidated by reds. So here we go. Okay, so that's Velvet Enchantment. That is, that's right, she's right, it's like a wearable red. It's almost like, on me, it's like a muted red, but almost like a pinky red. I don't know how it's translating on the camera. Let me look at my mirror. It's definitely a red. It looks very soft, like a soft red. And I'm so interested to see other people's videos when they do lip swatches because it's going to show up differently depending on your skin tone and undertone. So that's what the fun part of these lipstick swatches are. I was like, I just love trying on lipstick and then seeing how they look on other people too. So this is Velvet Enchantment. This is a really pretty color too. I think, yeah, it's, this one is as creamy as the last one, the Velvet Rain. The first one, Pompadour, for some reason felt a little bit drier and showed just showed more of my underpigment. And that just could be have to do with the color and the formula. This one, I don't, I didn't have any issues with. This is such a pretty red. So I'm gonna do what I did with the last one. This one, I don't feel like I need a lip liner with. Um, and that's what the beauty of like why I love Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Like usually with other lipsticks, I have to wear a lip liner because of the underpigment. But with hers, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to do again, it's just kind of rub the lipstick and blot it. There, it's kind of like a soft focus. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this one. I lo actually love this one with the soft focus smudge. And that's a kind of hot tip of like, you don't want things to look so like put together a little bit more effortless. Just, you know, blot it down and don't be afraid to, to be just like slightly, you know, color outside the line a little, a little bit, you know, like it doesn't have to be perfect. And actually, I think when it's like this actually it looks a little bit sexier because it just kind of looks my actually, I think my lips look fuller because it's kind of got this soft focus effects as opposed to a harsh line around my lips. Oh my gosh, I just, <laughs> I'm having trouble like figuring out which is my favorite so far. Okay, uh, also don't want to take this one off, but we're going to keep going. The next one is Velvet Sorcery. This is the one that's out of stock. This bewitching medium dusky clay rose borrows a little cool tone mauve magic from the 1990s, the indie it girl of the true velvets. Yes, yeah, so out of all the lipsticks I'm trying today currently, this is out of the new five lipsticks. This is the one that's sold out. And it's just, I knew that people were kind of really wild about this one. We'll see, let's see how this velvet sorcery looks.
Velvet Sorcery. <laughs> this is very 1990s to me. I used to wear a lipstick exactly like this. I think it was by Revlon. And so for this, I think you're seeing a little bit more of my um, under pigment. Okay, so the deeper I go, it definitely looks more like from the 1990s. I think I would recommend likely wearing um, lip liner, which is good because I got the lip liner. So we're going to, I'll do a swatch of Velvet Sorcery here of what that looks like. And here is the corresponding lip pencil. I'll do a little deeper. Okay, so that's with the lip liner. I'm glad I got it because I was feeling the need that I needed this lip liner with this look. It's just, it's pretty deep. So it was kind of showing kind of the imperfections along the line. It's definitely 80s, but kind of like a little bit more modern twist. There's a cool tone mauviness to it. It almost, on me as I'm looking at it, there's almost like a cool tone purple underlay of it. Yeah, cool tone mauve. It's so funny that this ended up being the color that sold out. Funny how fashion ends up kind of recycling through. I actually have a couple of dupes for this, not necessarily with the Lisa Eldridge collection, but with other lipsticks. I'm going to actually smudge this out and so you can see how that looks if I could have, um, make it more of a smudgy look. Okay, so that's more of a soft focus, kind of sexy, just kind of, kind of, my lips are look a little bit bigger. Um, my face is getting a little bit red because of all the, the little bit of the rubbing off of the lipstick, but that's real. This is showing you how actually it's lasting and performing on my lips. I think this is beautiful. Actually, I like it a little bit lighter. Let me just see if I can take off some of the lipstick. Cause it doesn't look, if it's a little lighter, it's not as like dark and vampy-ish on me. And for my skin tone, I don't like it super, super deep because then it's just, I would only use that color, this color in the fall because it's definitely a kind of a certain vibe. Yeah, this is a fun one too. So this is, this is Velvet Sorcery. Velvet Sorcery. Okay, and so we're on to the last one, which is the red, red one. Um, I almost didn't get this one because I have so many of the Lisa Eldridge reds. And then I was talking to a couple of beauty friends with of mine and they were like, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting Duchess. So um, I'm a sucker for reds and especially Lisa Eldridge reds. So of course, if I, I was already putting three in my cart and I was like, well, well, I just might as well just put the, the last two in. So Velvet Duchess, a clear, clean, deep red garnet. So sumptuous, it's almost scandalous. Velvet Duchess is a fresh twist on the 1940s red favored by royalty. Deeper than velvet ribbon, purer than velvet jazz, the blue undertones of this fearless suits everyone. Instant classic is sure to get people talking. Whoever writes the copy for this advertisement for Elisa's team is just, mm, like they have a great team. Out of all the lipsticks, I think this is actually the prettiest. So I don't know if you, there's nothing about like in real life of how this is translating. They're all beautiful lipsticks, but this Duchess is gorgeous. It looks like a Bordeaux velvet dress. I don't know if that's translating. It looks a little bit deeper on the camera. I could just imagine being in a, I think I had a velvet dress like this at some point. It's just so, so pretty. So what I was saying before is that these are pretty delicate lipsticks. So I don't recommend putting it high like this or even like this. When I put, use my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, I actually put it on the lowest amount possible. Do you see? I don't even like let it, it's like barely peeking out of the lip um, case. And that's because they have broken before. I've had two that broke 
they didn't break on me while I was using them. I've th heard that has happened before. I think one, I think actually both of them, one of them was in my purse and it got jostled around and the other like fell. So that's when it actually broke at the, the base as well. So, you know, just these are delicate lipsticks. Some people don't like that for me. It's for me, it's worth it. It's I just ended up telling, um, contacting Lisa Eldridge's customer service team and they sent out new ones and I chucked the other ones. Velvet Duchess. I can see why they said this is scandalous. This is a sexy red. It's really, it's like a deep, deep, at least on me, it's a deep red and it's super sexy. There's Velvet Ribbon, which is more blue and it reminds me of a Christmas red. So I've actually worn that around the holidays. It's coming up. I'll be wearing that at parties and at work uh, because it's a brighter blue toned. So that this is Velvet Duchess and this is Velvet Ribbon. So you can see there's much more blue in this one. This reminds me of a Christmas bow. So definitely that's more of the Christmas one. That's Velvet Ribbon. This is Velvet Myth. It definitely has more purple in it. Let me just do a quick swatch for you. So that's Velvet Myth, and this is a Velvet Duchess. Pretty similar, but has more blue. This is more purple. And the Velvet Ribbon is definitely more blue-based. Velvet Jazz, I think this is the one that has the most purple in it. And it's, it's probably closest to Velvet Jazz, where this is more purple. So it's like in between. I definitely think I should be wearing a liner with this because it's it's not a forgiving lipstick on going outside the line. I'm grabbing Velvet uh, Myth. That's better. It definitely needs a liner for the reds. I would recommend that for all the reds. Velvet Duchess. It's definitely not as teeth whitening as the Velvet Ribbon. The Velvet Ribbon makes my teeth look so bright. Those are all of the five colors. So I'm going to do the last thing to, with this lipstick like I did with the other ones. I'm going to smudge it out with my finger. So that's what the lipstick looks smudged out. It's just a little bit softer. So you tell me which one do you like the most on me? I'm gonna, well, I just don't wanna take off lipstick anymore. I think this is the one I'm gonna leave on my lips. So which of these five new lipsticks do you like the best on me or just that you are looking at in general? So let me know which ones are the, your, their favorites. What I'll do at the end of this video is probably do some swatches of comparisons with lipsticks I already own, um, and I'll put them in. I'll put them here at the end of this segment.
If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. I will be filming the five new Lisa Eldridge eyeshadows as soon as they get here. And so I'll be posting though that video up soon. So if you enjoy the video, please consider commenting and liking below. And as always, please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you. Until the next video, beauty fam, take good care. Bye.